uh, imagine that my words would uh, appear in, as in uh, Thai P5 formatted on the, on the screen now with metadata and all. So we are not quite there yet, but uh, with our web service you can uh, convert your text to uh, Thai P5 and add metadata. Thank you. I have one minute. Yes, please. Uh, as it follows from its name, uh, OpenSCOS is a, a software for managing controlled vocabularies, and it should and it follows uh, uh, SCOS uh, design principle for these vocabularies. Um, as one can expect, this sort of software has two parts: the backend, which is uh, the database where the content actually lives and the uh, software uh, to get access to this database, and the front end, which is a user, uh, web user interface uh, connecting to the back end. Uh, the back end of the new version of the open scores is based on triple store, as uh, another name of the triple store is an RDF store, as again, as it follows uh, uh, from its name, uh, the resources in this database are represented as triples, uh, subject property, pro uh, property object, where subject is an URI of the resource. So actually the triple, uh, bunch of triples describing the resource. Uh, yes, and we, uh, for resource we have the hierarchy, uh, and hierarchy of the concepts, uh, of the elements of the tesauri are on the, level, on the very low level of the hierarchy. And the, as it, you can see from the scheme, uh, yeah. Yeah, Sorry. exactly. <laughs> okay, so I'm Paul Trilsbeck from the MPI Naming, and together with Menzo Windhauer from the Meerdens Institute, we present FLAT, which is a Clarion-compatible repository solution based on uh, Fedora Commons. Uh, so the main goals of, of FLAT were to develop a repository solution that's largely based on uh, existing open source software to minimize maintenance costs. Uh, it needed to fulfill the Clarion B Center requirements, including the data seal of approval requ requirements, and there were some additional requirements from our institute and the Meertens Institute. Um, we considered a number of existing solutions, DSpace, ePrints, Fedora Commons, with two different front ends and Greenstone, and uh, we ultimately chose Fedora Commons with the Islandora front end. And if you want to know why, or if you want to see it in action, or want to know more about it, please come see us at the poster. So this poster could also be titled The Long Lost Friend of SIMD. Uh, we sometimes forget about uh, SIMD being the, uh, there for interoperability purposes. Can you switch to the next slide? So um, uh, we all know that we disseminate uh, SIMD uh, metadata via OAI PMH, and that goes, feeds directly into the VLO. Um, the protocol as such, the OAI PMH protocol, requires that we also deliver Dublin Core, but that's kind of embarrassing if we actually start to harvest the OAI PMH with, for some centers. But it's even getting worse when we look at the library world that could also make use of the information that we have in our uh, data uh, centers. Or the linked data world, so we uh, wonder how can we actually connect these worlds? And that's uh, one of uh, the areas where we need to have semantic interoperability, and that's what we focus on. Uh, unfortunately, th there is no slide. Uh, yet the poster describes how the Greek, natural, uh, Greek nat national infrastructure has been uh, created. It includes uh, a portal. Uh, which has uh, informative content and a central inventory of language resources and tools. So if you come to the poster session, you will uh, learn uh, who has been involved by providing and documenting uh, language resources and tools, uh, what is uh, the number of language resources and tools per category available through uh, the uh, central inventory, which of these resources can be automatically processed by the tools we have integrated and turned into web services, what happens to the newly produced resource and how it is stored in the central inventory, and how all these have been implemented by our technical team. Thank you. So this was a poster slam. I hope you all are already seeing forward to looking to the posters, but first we have one and a half hour of break for lunch, so we will reconvene at two o'clock.